Hi everybody, Ted Inner with Quality Home Inspections, and today I just want to talk to you real quick about uh, proper drainage for your air conditioner and humidifier. And what you can see here, the can on the right is actually the drain for the um, humidifier, and the one on the left on the floor is actually your condensate pump. Uh, two things I noticed uh, with that. Number one, with the humidifier, you know, you, uh, it just drains in that bucket and it's going to have to be uh, monitored. And on the other side of that wall is actually a finished basement. So if that water ever flows, it could actually uh, cause mold or mildew to end up in that finished area. Also, with the condensate pump, that pipe's a good 20 feet long. The problem with this is there's no pitch, and also it's going to be very difficult for this thing to drain. And, um, you know, with that being said, I actually looked at the furnace, and there's rust on the compartment in the furnace because that, that water's actually backing up. Uh, in addition to that, with the condensate pump, the uh, drain line, discharge line for the condensate pump is actually coming up that wall and ending up in the main sewer, which not allowed. So what we're going to do is actually have this uh, disconnected, and then the best thing to do here is, is take the condensate pump, mount it next to the furnace, and then put the humidifier into the condensate pump, and then have the discharge line of condensate pump to the exterior of the home when it kicks on, it'll uh, discharge to the outside. So I just wanted to point that out. Thanks for watching. This is Ted Henry with Quality Home Inspections.